Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are here. Oof. It is sipping Saturday, if you will. We have a hopefully fun stream plan today. We are going to attempt to finish benchmarking our Flippin' Friday season numero dos episode numero uno build. That way we can flip this locally and get this out the door. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. How's your neck? A couple people asked me about my neck. It's moving. It's moving around. It's actually doing pretty good. Uh, so real quickly, I hurt my neck lifting on Wednesday. I sent out an announcement that we couldn't do the Thursday, Thursday stream to give away this PC, which is why we postponed it till next Thursday or this upcoming Thursday. So we're still just doing the normal thing. All you got to do is stay tuned to the live stream right now and uh, earn some bonus points, if you will. Uh, but yeah, I hurt my neck on Wednesday, just lifting and it swelled up big time, like my trap. Uh, my trap swelled up big time and uh, my, my mobility of my neck was limited to like, honestly, like 10 to 15% of total mobility um, movement here. But now Saturday, you know, I'm probably up to, probably up to like 80% or so. I mean, I'm definitely like still in pain if I like turn it too much or like today, my four-year-old decided to jump on my neck and hang on me. Um, no, it wasn't shrugs. I was lifting chest. Um, this is actually the, the second time I tweaked my, tr my left trap or the left side of my trap in the last year or so. So I'm going to physical therapy all, starting on Monday and we're going to figure out there's got to be some sort of like movement mobility issue going here, going on around here. Uh, that is the reason why I keep tweaking this and I tore my labrum like a year and a half ago and went to physical therapy and my guy said that there's a good chance that in your recovery you just created a different imbalance here so we'll, we'll figure it out um but yeah all is well over here the only thing that's like painful is when i'm constantly like moving back and forth here to the chat but we'll, we'll figure out how to optimize it tonight um but otherwise yeah i mean feel feel much better <laughs> feel, feel much better than what it was i mean I, I couldn't move that first day it was very bad uh, two fuzzy space cats joining us here in the Feta Beta Committee. Thank you very much to both of you. Much appreciated. Painful also with the 10 bitties. Oh, that's when you had shrugs now. It wasn't shrugs. The first time I, I tweaked my trap at the beginning of the year. Yeah, that was on shrugs. But no, this was on an incline hammer strength chest press. And Dr. Zoomer, who's also a physical therapy doctor officially now. Um, he was explaining to me that like incline movements on a machine aren't really good uh, for neck support and that could have been it as well uh, but yeah either way giveaway for the RTX 3070 build is still underway we're just postponing it until Thursday so October 12th here instead of the 5th you can still continue to earn points and what we're going to be doing today is like I said this is the first episode of Flippin' Friday season 2 where on season two, I'm showcasing all of the behind the scenes stuff here on the live stream. So we're gonna be building the PCs, benchmarking it, configuring it, and um, just going through whatever other processes we need to, to successfully flip a gaming PC. And on the last stream, we had some stream issues with the, the HDMI capture, but I think we are good to go. I have it pulled up here. It's looking pretty good. I don't think we're going to have any of those issues. We could have some other issues. However, the issue that we left off with during the last live stream, I feel so awkward because whenever I look at the camera, I have to move my whole body. So just excuse that. Um, we have a temperature issue with our Ryzen 5 3600. All we are doing right now is downloading Assassin's Creed Mirage 61%. I don't think we're going to be able to finish. But we're at 68 degrees on our Ryzen 5 3600. So what we're gonna do is actually shut down this system and we're gonna attempt to fix our temperature issue. But before we do that, we do have a $5 super chat from LVRNC. It says, followed your $500 Amazon budget PC build with a few tweaks, it runs great. That, that's awesome to hear. I love those videos. Like, boom, you could buy all of this, everything on this PC right now, two day with two day shipping. Boom. I'm interested in what tweaks you did though. I'll keep an eye out for your response. 
LVRNC. What were your tweaks on it? I'm just curious. Yeah, we do have a stock cooler, but it still shouldn't be idling here at 65 degrees. I mean, it's not really idling. It's at 18%. But when we tested it, it was getting up to the 90s. We did a full time spy run of this during the last stream. And it was getting up to the night. Oh, here we go. Update and shut down. Okay, well, let's just shut that down now. <sighs> Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Uh, so I never actually got to explain it because we had the stream issues. But let me turn that music down real quick. Oh, my God, my neck. Um, is whenever I installed the stock CPU cooler on this PC... <laughs> There was like a little speck of dirt or like maybe a dead bug or something in the pre-applied thermal paste. And I was looking at it and I consciously was looking at it and being like, that shouldn't cause too much of an issue, right? <laughs> sure enough, we have CPU temperature heating issues. So I'm optimistic that that's all the issue is because then I could just uninstall the cooler, reapply the thermal paste and we'll be good to go. But there's a chance that that isn't good enough to fix our issue because it was like a little tiny dust sink. So we're going to tear this system apart now. It looks like it successfully turned off. And then we will try to do our benchmarking run. So that is the plan for tonight. Did I miss another? No, that was it. Okay. What was that? Oh, painful with the temp, he says... I want helium Zach back. Yeah, we're going to hopefully not have any helium Zach. Ideally, we don't have any streaming issues tonight. <laughs> How much do you one rep max? I haven't one rep maxed anything in like half a decade. All time, which was like seven years ago. I did. Oh, I always forget. It was like 365 squat, 450, 455, I think, deadlift. And my bench is pretty weak. Uh, all time PR for bench is only 285. But yeah, I haven't done, I don't do anything below like six reps. You know, once once you're in your 30s, anything below six reps and you're, you're just begging for an injury. Um, so, yeah. What is helium, Zach? So we had a <laughs> microphone issue on one of our previous live streams. And it was making my microphone... I mean, you, you can look. It's definitely a top clip on Twitch. And it was making my microphone sound like I just sucked in a bunch of helium. And it was, like, legit. It wasn't, like, just like, oh, that kind of sounds like he inhaled some helium. No, I mean, it was, like, a direct representation of what it sounds like. When you inhale a lot of helium. And everyone seemed to enjoy that. Helium Zach for the whim. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a good time for you guys. <laughs> I was a little upset. We've been having a lot of stream issues lately. Sakita with the 100 bitties says, hope you're feeling better. We're getting there. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're getting there. I would say my neck mobility is up to like 85% or so. So, I mean, I, like, I could, I went to the office today and, you know, life is normal for the most part other than I'm not, like, lifting or doing any big time movements or anything right now. Um, but today was the first day that I actually didn't take any medicine as well. So, no, I, I, I was taking ibuprofen as soon as it happened just to try to combat all of the swelling um, and just for pain relief. But today was the first day I didn't take anything, so... I mean, we're, tr we're trending in the right direction. Everything is all good. We're just not nowhere near 100% yet. But the physical therapy will help. <sighs> yeah, my stream's lagging too. Is that is that everybody? says we have excellent condition over here excellent streaming conditions but it looks like it's frozen no no lag i didn't lag are you guys lagging right now I just opened it. It looks fine. 
It looks fine right now. It doesn't even look fine on my screen. It still doesn't. Is it? Am I live right now? Or is it frozen? You see me moving right now? Yeah. <laughs> it's not showing me that on my screen. Looks fine right now. Yes, yes, yep. There's got to be something wrong with this PC, man. Yeah, you're live. It's not lagging at all. Not frozen. <laughs> all of my preview windows are messed up right now. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Better than last time? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Please give me one PC. No lag. It lagged a couple seconds ago. Fast movement test. Uh, painful with the 10 bitties says it's fine for me. Fire medic with the fitty bitties. Welcome to the fitty bitty committee, fire medic. He says hype train question mark. PC addict also with the fitty bitty committee. Thank you. Oh, fire medic with 100 bitties as well. Says doubling up since I missed my committee dues last stream. Thank you. Much appreciated for catching up there. <laughs> says yeah, you're good. Wow, that's so weird. Oh, my screen, it is lagging hardcore. But I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, all this Twitch and YouTube is telling me that we're good. What the? But that's still like, why are we have? Why am I having issues? That's so bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna run with it. Let me know. Let me know if anything happens, chat. Por favor. Looking good, Z-Man. Z-Man. Zach, you ain't lagging. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Zach needs a new computer donation time. Definitely don't donate for a new PC. No, we got the hookups for that, but thank you. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, we're just going to press on. Still good. Let me, let me know if we start lagging or anything. Um, so we're just going to try to take out this... I don't know if I finished uninstalling the CPU cooler here. But yeah, so this is our, again, oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, look, oh, look at that. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, now we have some good news. Check this out. So I was right, which is still kind of bad. I shouldn't have installed this in the first place. Let's zoom this in all the way. So check out this thermal paste heat spread this i mean the whole thing doesn't look great this is just the pre-applied thermal paste but check out this gap right here that is because of that dot that i was talking about see how all the thermal paste around this dot it it just raised it up enough oh so it is not a dead bug or a little speck of dirt it is a foreign object here Okay, well, this is great news because this is 100% what was causing the issue. I don't, I don't know what that is, though. <laughs> it's just like a black square. I, I, I don't know. It's very weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is it dead? No, it's not dead. We were just overheating a little bit. Um, but that was... It, huh? Huh? Yeah, I thought it was a gnat too, but no, this is an actual, like, object. Like a, I don't know, like a piece of metal or something. I'm not sure, but okay. All right, well, yeah, that's great because, you know, this little gap here is definitely the reason why we're not getting good cooling temperatures. So all we have to do is uninstall all of this or remove all this, clean it up. And then we are back in business. Cheers, I'll drink to that, bro. Yeah, big time cheers. Okay. Well, that's good. That makes me feel better on that front. So let's take care of this real quick. Unidentified frying object? Yeah. And and like I said, I saw it whenever I went to install it. So it was definitely like a risk. You know, I was like, I, I thought it was like a gnat or like a bug or like, you know, just a piece of thick dust or something. I definitely consciously looked at it and made the decision, ah, it'll be fine. And of course it's not, but thankfully this is a very easy fix. So, you know, if you've never done this, what I'm gonna do is get the majority of the thermal paste off. 
with a paper towel and then we'll use an isopropyl alcohol wipe on both the cooler and the CPU. And whenever you're cleaning up thermal paste like this, just remember always keep your CPU installed in the motherboard. That way, whenever you're wiping all this up, you know, if you were like holding the CPU doing this, that thermal paste would be all over those pins and whatnot. So it's definitely just easier to clean it up like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, this is great news. This is what I use. We have like a thousand of these between my house and here in the studio. Alcohol prep pad, just a 70% isopropyl alcohol. I like buying these versus like the the actual bottles of isopropyl alcohol because then you have to use another paper towel. I think it's much, much easier to just use one of these bad boys and then flip it over and then I can use the the inside of it to clean the cooler. That's how I prefer to do it. Can you drop a link for those? I, I, I can't while I'm streaming, unfortunately. We're gonna have to use a second one actually because that's a lot of gunk. But here it is again. I'm sure if you just type this in Amazon, you'll find it. Care Touch. Take a screenshot of that if you care. Care Touch alcohol prep pads. Yeah, I mean, I think I actually bought a thousand. I bought it. I bought a huge box of them years ago. Oh, empty name with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Let's go. First ever month too. Much appreciated. J J Taze with a shout out. Zach to a quick recovery and streaming again so I can get more points. I got you. Kill Destiny with a hundred biddies. That'll get you in the fitty bitty committee. You and a friend. Thank you. All right. There we go. Now everything is nice and cleaned off. So we're going to get out our thermal paste, which we'll just use some. Oh, wait. No, you guys said MX5 isn't good anymore. Okay. Let me go. That's the only one I have in my toolbox. Let me go get some. Hopefully we have some MX4 here in the back. Uh, maybe we don't. I mean, MX5 is perfectly, well, it's not perfectly fine, but it is good enough. I thought we had some. Probably do, I just don't know where it is. Or it's probably at the studio right now. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Yeah, I don't think we have any. We do have this. What do you guys think about this? I've never used this before. Thermal right TF7. Any opinions on this? This or MX5? What do you guys think? I'll leave it up to you guys. Thermal right TF7, which just comes with like thermal paste or thermal right air coolers or MX5. Which one? Is that one horrible? Go for it. No idea on the TF7. TF7 is a decent, cheaper pace. I mean, MX5... I know MX5 tests really good. It's just... It 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 gets hard quickly. Um, so whenever you go to remove it, it's, it's more of a hassle. But it still tests... It still tests really good. How's the neck? It's good. I, I, if, if you want to watch the beginning of the stream on YouTube, go ahead. Uh, the giveaway is just, I'm going to use MX5. All paste is the same. Well, that's not true. What about MX6? Is that a real thing yet? All right, we'll, we'll just use this. We'll use this. I'm just going to use the dot method or the P method since we have a square CPU. Should be enough. Yeah, people just don't like the MX5 anymore because like months later when you go to remove it, it hardens up a little bit. 
um, but the temperatures still test fine. So hopefully we just get it right on the first go and then we don't have to reinstall it. But at this point, that is wishful thinking. Oh no, I lost my, okay. AM4. Issues, the back plate fell back. Blob method, yep. Yeah, I just I just do the blob method. There's our back plate. Alright, so what we're gonna do here. This is always the way I do it. So the problem whenever you uninstall a cooler on AM4 with the bracket, if that bracket isn't secured to the motherboard, which most times it's not, you have to hold it here whenever you go to install it. Try and show you. So I'm gonna hold the back plate here with my hand while while I secure it here with the CPU cool. Just like that. And all you have to do is get a couple threads in and then your back plate won't go anywhere. But yeah, if you're just tuning in uh, right now, we were having a temperature overheating issue with this flip build. And we just now found out that there was a foreign object in the pre-installed thermal paste for the cooler. So the cooler wasn't making full contact with the CPU. The thermal paste didn't spread evenly. And that is 100% what, what was causing the issues. So good news. That was quickly fixed. So just going to finish reinstalling this CPU cooler. And then we will do one more temperature test before just to make sure that it's actually good to go now. And then we will start the actual benchmarking process so we can get this flip posted and make some actual profit on the build. There we go. All right. Cable management isn't looking atrocious. It's not looking great, but not looking atrocious. There we go. And this is just our benchmarking SSD. That's not what we're actually shipping the PC with. That's just our, our SSD that has pre-installed Windows and all of the games that we need to benchmark. It's just the normal way we do it instead of installing games every single time. All right. There we go. So let's plug this in. And check out those temperatures. There we go. All right. Not too bad. Yeah, I am selling it local. So for season two of Flippin' Friday, I am going to sell it local. What I'm going to do is, since some of you guys on the stream were already ask, emailing me and DMing me to buy it, I'm just going to post it here locally in Pittsburgh. And whoever contacts me, whether you were watching the stream or not, Whoever is the first person that can like go through the whole messaging process and everything, it, I'm going to sell it to. I don't really care if it goes to a ZTT viewer or not. I just want to go through the motions of actually selling it legitimately, you know, because of the new season of Flippin' Friday. So that, that's, the, that's the highest priority. That's a sick looking rig. Yeah, I'm a fan of it. So this was, this build cost me, oh, this build cost me $402. It's got a Ryzen 5 3600, 16 gigs at 3600 megahertz, and a GTX 1080. And the whole thing cost 402, like I said. We're probably going to list it at 600, which is pretty high, but we'll see if we can get it for that. I would be perfectly fine selling it for 500, honestly, but. I would guess we're realistically going to sell it at like 550, 575, just because the aesthetics are dialed in here. So this, for the first episode of season two, this should end up being a pretty successful high profit flip for such a budget build. But who knows? 
Who knows cheers, what the market will be. Yeah, I mean, cheers for now, but who knows where we'll be. All right, so here's the temperatures. So right now it's doing its normal thing where it'll peak up. You know, 46 is still 45, 44, 43. I mean, that's still not amazing. 41, 40. Yeah, I mean, show me 30s at least. 39. It's definitely much cooler than it was. 38. Okay, so it's definitely much better. I feel like that's still not incredibly cool though could be that mx5 <laughs> all right let's do a oh wait yeah sorry you're not even watching it oh wait yeah you are yeah. all right let's do what should we do first let's do some cinebench let's just see where it goes i'm not gonna do the full 10 minute run how high was it getting before it went up to like 95 very quickly and then it started down clocking just a little bit I mean, it was definitely overheating before. Let's see how this goes. You know, Cinebench isn't a realistic, like, gaming situation. Because most games aren't going to take your CPU up to 100%. Almost no game does that. But, yeah, we'll see. Mark with the 10 he says, first, how's your neck? Second, what fixed the issue that we were having last stream? The neck is feeling better. We're at, like, 85% mobility. I gave the, the full breakdown at the beginning of the stream, so I don't really want to repeat it. Um... But, yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing better. Like, obviously, I can stream and whatnot. Um, but it still definitely hurts. Like, especially, like, right now with this <laughs> chat here, camera here, computer over here. That's not the best case for it. Um, but, yeah, it's doing better. And the issue that I fixed with the stream was basically just a, I have three monitors set up whenever I stream. And, basically, I'm just not sharing one of the monitors for the streaming PC versus the, the flip PC. I just have one monitor that's dedicated to this because every time every time we would turn this PC off during the last stream, it would sw automatically switch monitors to my streaming PC and it would give me my third monitor back. But just all the switching from two monitors to three, back to two, back to three, OBS hated that and that's what was causing all the issues. So I just completely unplugged this monitor from my streaming PC and we have a dedicated one now. So yeah, I mean, that's still kind of high. It's not nearly as high as it was. But we are still at 91. That's still... It's definitely better. I feel like I should have put more thermal paste on there. Yeah, the ZTT builds is completely out of stock. If you, The next PC that we're going to be selling is this one, which we'll be selling locally. Yeah, that's still kind of hot. Was the MX-5 a bad choice? Not really loving this. Yeah, don't don't spam exclamation point giveaway. Just type it once and then you'll get the message. You just gotta, I see the lurkers checking in uh, and then it'll, it'll send it to you. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's going to peak at 92, though. I mean, that's, that's, that's fine for 100%. Remember, in gaming, it's going to be like 70s. It's not going to be bad. I think we're going to keep it here, and we'll see what it does with normal tests. You know, I'm just glad that it's not like 95, 98, like it was doing. That was definitely the, the, the main issue there. <coughs> All right, so let's close this down. Did that stop? There we go. All right, let's close this. We don't need Epic for right now. Let's do a time spy run and we'll get the, the official score. Uh, was the foreign object hard? I don't know. Whenever I tried to wipe it, it got wiped into the paper towel and I lost it. In Cinebench. Yeah. I mean, getting up to 92 in Cinebench isn't like something that you would brag about, but that means whenever you're gaming, <laughs> you know, it's probably, it's going to be in the seventies, mid eighties, maybe, maybe mid eighties, probably not. 
So yeah, I mean, we're definitely good. The stream just lagged. Yeah, sorry. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, the, the Cinebench, your Cinebench temperature is not what you're going to get in normal normal life. For Cinebench, you're just making sure that that mofo doesn't go up to 100 real quickly like it did. Because then you know you have an actual issue. New streaming PC ASAP? Yeah, I know. I, I, that's actually... That's on the foreseeable, foreseeable plans, unfortunately. All right, time spy. Is it good now? Cooler mounting tightness? Or well, I mean with the stock cooler. Did, how can you see your previous runs? Results? Oh, no, okay, we can't. I forget what we got during the last one. But yeah, let's make sure this is good to go. Seems that stream lagging coincides with ads running. That would be interesting. Unfortunately, like you were sad to get an upgrade. No, I'm sad if I have to upgrade or replace one of my tools to, to get my job done. <laughs> when, when you have to replace, what? I, th I thought you said something. When you have to replace a, ga a PC, just so you can like do your work, it, that's not fun. In my opinion. Yeah, I mean, we will see. All right, all right, here goes Time Spy. You know, there's the CPU sitting at 61%. This is the GPU test though. So um, the GPU is definitely, oh, and then we are open bench as well. Sweets with the $2. Super chat said, did the last PC giveaway happen? No. I have it pinned at the top of the chat. Thank you for your $2 dono. No, we're just delaying it until October 12th. All the information is still the same. We're just doing this whole week until October 12th is just time for you to get some extra bonus points. We just had to delay it because of my neck issue. So far, so good. It's like having to replace a saw when you're a carpenter. Maybe. Except they just buy saws. They don't have to do manual labor to fix it. <laughs> and I certainly can't just buy a pre-built gaming PC. We're going to have to build it ourselves. And it's like, well, what's actually wrong with the PC? That I don't know. So as much as I would like to reuse parts from this PC in the next streaming PC, it's like, does something have like a minor issue? Is it just the Windows OS like being slightly corrupt or like what's going on? You know, I am starting to see some, some minor like hiccups here and there, even when I'm not streaming on this PC. So I think it's just the Windows OS, but one of the main problems that I think I'm going through right now with this PC is this is my everyday, this is my daily driver PC for work if I'm working from home, gaming, and streaming. And whenever you have a PC that you try to stream with and you're doing a hundred other things with, that's when things start to like get a little funky. That's why like a two streaming PC setup where that PC has nothing installed on it other than what you need to live stream that's when it's like much crisper a way more minimal install like no bloat or anything and that's when it's a much better situation so i am contemplating the idea of just building a second streaming pc and then i would just put it right here you would actually see it like you would see it sticking out right here because there's a there's a desk or a cabinet right where my hand is right here so I'm thinking about doing that as well, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to do any of that. <laughs> so
So we're we're still in the in the debating stages here, because I don't know how much more I can tolerate streaming issues during my evenings. All right, how did that look? I wasn't really paying attention to that. All right, seven thousand three hundred and eighty-eight. All right, I, I feel like that's as good as we're gonna get. Okay, that's not bad. So my, yeah, I mean that that score that score definitely makes sense. Okay, all right, let's call it a day right there. Let's. I need to grab a, a screenshot of this. Oops. Screenshot that. That way we have it. Seven thousand three hundred and eighty-eight. Put that on the desktop. Seven three eight eight. We'll run it one more time. Just to make sure we didn't have an anomaly. Because we always benchmark at least twice. And then we'll be good to go. Part of most of our benchmarking philosophy, especially if it's just a like a normal gaming PC that like it's not like a super important benchmark, you know, for casual benchmarking, we'll benchmark everything twice. And if the scores are very similar, then we'll just go with that. If the scores are pretty different, then we'll benchmark it a third time and make the decision on like, was one of them a fluke? Do we take the average of it? Like whatever. Um, but we're never the type of business that is going to benchmark everything like 10 different times for 0.2% accuracy, like tolerance like that. That's not how we roll. So we're just going to benchmark time spy one more time over here. Make sure we get within margin of error with the 7388 and then we'll move on to the next one. Is 7000 good? I mean, 7388 is very good for a $402 gaming PC. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, I mean, you're with an RTX 3060 build, you're going to get anywhere from 8 to eight and a half thousand usually uh so seven thousand three hundred eighty eight on a four hundred two dollar bills yeah it's really really solid painful the tempity says i feel like they should make a game based off of time spy i mean it does look pretty cool I only know that like the 13900K on Cinebench is 20. Yeah, the, the score on Cinebench does not correlate to your 3D Mark Time Spy score at all. But yeah, with the, for more reference, the Forbes PC, if you guys saw the Forbes pre-built, or it was an iBuyPower pre-built. It was a $1,000 iBuyPower pre-built. And Forbes recommended it as the best gaming PC pre-built under $1,000. It was exactly $1,000. And that scored 7,800. So this $400 build is only 500 points behind <laughs> what Forbes considers the best $1,000 pre-built that you can buy for reference. And then my latest $1,000 build guide, which is actually already out of date because of some new launches, but that one was 12,000. But that one had a, uh, I don't know if that might've had a 6,700 XT in it. Can't really remember. I think it was. What do big companies know about computers, right? I mean, you would think that like they would at least hire somebody who's writing those articles to know about computers. <laughs> what parts are in the computer? Ryzen 5 3600, 16 gigs of 3600 megahertz RAM, and a GTX 1080. We got a one terabyte NVMe in there. This is the Sama, uh, ooh, I forget what the case is. Somebody have to remind me what that case is called. Budget micro ATX Sama case. We got the gigabyte A520M motherboard in there. The S2H. Sama Q5, thank you. 
is it the 3600 or the 5600 that was the best price performance uh i mean both of them are very very good 3600 if you're talking about price and performance for a used budget build which is what why we used it today 5600 is really good for a brand new budget to mid-range system yeah so there we go all right 7349 within margin of error i would say so we're good to go let's let's move on so what we're going to do is we have our little benchmarking notepad here we'll put time spy for the sale posting we'll we'll, we'll give the highest one that we got you know let's, let's be honest here we're gonna make the pc seem as good as it can get without lying all right so next up what should we run let's do some canned benchmarks first what did i want to run here Let's do, let's do Cyberpunk. Let's fire up Cyberpunk. Now these are all gonna be the first time that this computer has ever opened these games. So we're gonna have to go through like the quick like shaders or like steam initialization and whatnot. Just type in exclamation point giveaway and then click that link. It'll give you all the information that you need. Alright, Cyberpunk. Any news on the restock of ZTT store builds? Not yet. Not yet. We're, we're working on some things behind the scenes that are elaborate. And I'll, I'll keep you guys updated when it makes sense, too. Sorry that I can't right now, unfortunately. If you're like sitting there with hand and money waiting to buy a gaming PC like this week, don't keep waiting for a ZTT build. I don't know when we'll restock right now. Is a Ryzen 5 7600 and 7800 XT good? I would say so. Yeah, I mean, the 7600 is probably as low as that you realistically want to go with the 7800 XT. But yeah, that should be fun. Oops, why didn't that? Oh, wait, why didn't that work? Oh, there we go. Okay. So the one thing I wanted to check is I'm not getting any. Are you guys hearing the volume? Yeah, I think you are. I'm not. I'm not hearing the volume of. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, let me turn the volume of that, that game down. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you are. Okay, that, that should be good now. All right, let's check this out. So we got our GPU up here, CPU running, both at 50% just in the menu. Cyberpunk shenanigans. All right, graphics. What should we do for a 1080? So for a flip, what I usually strive for in a flip as far as like what numbers to to recommend is for triple a like single player games like this i try to give it the highest possible settings while still maintaining clearly over 60 fps i don't really want to say that cyberpunk can only do like 60 fps i'd rather it be like a 65 70 75 or so but we want to do it with the highest settings possible because i would rather advertise that a game like Cyberpunk can run in ultra at low FPS, lower FPS versus low at higher FPS. But for competitive games, Fortnite, CS2, Valorant, it's the exact opposite. I want to show people that you can run the PC with higher refresh rate monitors. So for Cyberpunk here, I don't know off the top of my head what we should aim for. So I'm thinking we just start with medium. So we'll do the medium preset. We'll turn FSR off for right now. Motion blur, we'll turn that off. Just because that's what we always do. Um, and everything else should, yeah, as long as ray tracing is off. We should leave that there. And then let's see what this can do on medium. Cyberpunk barely runs 4K with a 4090. Well, yeah, I mean, anything in 4K is going to be tough. In, in description, call low settings pro. Exactly. That's another trick that you could do. <laughs> All 
All right, let's see how this is. All right, we will start the benchmark now. So if, I, I know Cyberpunk picks up the FPS in the benchmark towards the, the later half of the benchmark. So, I mean, we're at 53, which isn't great, but I'm pretty sure towards the second half of this benchmark is when the FPS increases, but we'll see. I could be wrong. Um, not terribly up to speed on benchmarking these days since Sam's been benchmarking every um, every PC. Yeah, see, now the FPS is going up. Yeah, that's what I thought. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not like incredibly tuned in with benchmarking these days. <laughs> Just because Sam's been doing it all. Yeah, it usually goes up when you, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so this is looking good. I mean, this is right where we want to be. No, none of the PCs are on sale right now. All right, I know this is towards the end of the benchmark. So 63 FPS average. We'll stop it right there. And that's what Cyberpunk... So, I mean, 63 on medium, you know, that, that's tempting. Like, that makes me want to go to low. I would rather advertise 63. I mean, I don't really want to advertise low, though. Let's see what we get on low. So we'll go low, keep that off again. FSR off. And then everything else should be the same. Okay. Let's try low and just see what we get. Oops, did that save? I might need to cancel that. But yeah, basically what we're doing is we're just trying to put give the best presentation package for benchmarking a PC that we want to sell. This isn't the same as like benchmarking for a YouTube video or let me let me exit. Can I exit out of here? No. Should I just start the benchmark anyway? Can I not exit this? I guess I can't. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just run this one. But yeah, we're, we're just trying to put together the best presentation. Po oh, th this has to be low. Yeah, I can tell. The best presentation possible for a PC that we want to sell without lying. Like we definitely don't want to get caught in posture check. Good call. Definitely don't want to get caught in it with using inaccurate benchmarks or anything. Um, but, you know, we do want to we want to showcase the PC as best as we can for the a potential buyer. Why the cutscene? This is the built-in benchmarking tool for Cyberpunk. If a game includes a built-in benchmarking tool, this is what we're going to use. You know, so the big games right now with built-in benchmarking tools are Cyberpunk, Forza Horizon 5, um, Assassin's Creed Mirage that just came out, and what was the other big one? Uh, uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty has a built-in one too. So there we go. There we got 74 FPS. So, I mean, this is a really tough call in my opinion. What do you guys think would be better on paper? You're looking at a PC, you're thinking about buying. Does 74 FPS in low sound good? Or 63 FPS in medium sound better? You know, both are true and legit. It's just which one do you want to advertise? I'm honestly thinking medium, medium at 63 FPS. What do you guys think? Medium, medium, medium. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I don't like 63 too much, but but when you're flirting between low or medium settings, like low doesn't sound good. Medium sounds decent. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking medium. Okay, that's what I'm thinking too. We're all we're pretty much all on the same page. You'd love to see it. All right, so let's go back to the main settings. Let's run medium one more time just so we can confirm that uh, that our 63 was accurate. Again, we want to benchmark everything with the same settings twice just to make sure that we didn't get a fluke. 70 is just not that big of a difference. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think everyone's spot on here. I don't think a single person said low, honestly. All right, so let's go back one more time. We'll go to medium settings. All of that off, off, motion blur off, and then ray tracing off. Good to go. All right, we'll run this one more time and then we should be good to go. I like to mention 80 FPS on all my PC flips for Cyberpunk. Why 80? 
Why 80? All right, we'll start the benchmark right here. 400 FPS. What's the GPU again? It's a GTX 1080. Custom painted GTX 1080. It's a EVGA SC, I think. Zach, I appreciate you so much. You take care of your kids and post amazing YouTube videos. So thank you for being awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. Greetings from Alaska. Wowza. Let's go. So aesthetic. This PC is very nice. This will be this will be how I wanted to make the aesthetic as maximum as I could for Flippin' Friday season two the series premiere because that's what's going to allow us, you know, the aesthetics in a build like this, they definitely did not cost a lot of money. Just the extensions, everything else was just spray painted. So for not adding much money, um, we took the aesthetics up a level. So there we got 62 FPS. So, you know, we definitely didn't get a, a weird anomaly here. So got confirmation that we're good to go between 63 FPS and 62 FPS? I'm going to say 63. I think that's fair. I think we can all agree with that. Bro, I have five ads to get through? Yikes. You know who doesn't sit through ads? People that have Twitch Prime subs. <laughs> or regular tier one subs. Sorry, man. Yeah, we got 63 FPS. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over to our benchmark here. So whenever you use MSI Afterburner, this is what the output looks like. So we did three tests. The first one was 1080p medium. That's when we got 63. Then we did 1080p low. That's where we got the 64. And then we did 1080p medium again. And that's where we got 62. So we want to advertise the 63. So I'm just going to remove all of this information because I don't really need the min max and all that. And boom. And then I always come over here. This is what Sam and I do. 1080p low. Or, no, sorry, that was medium. 1080p medium for Cyberpunk. Boom. So we got our first two benchmarks done. Time Spy, 7388. And then Cyberpunk 1080p medium, 63 FPS. That's what I'll put on the listing. All right, so we're good with that. Let's do Forza next. Why not round off to 65 FPS? Because that is not what you do. That would be fake news, sir. No, you can't get 63 FPS and call it 65. <laughs> no, that yeah, that would be that would be fraud. Definitely not. Best price performance CPU for used budget builds. The 3600 is really really good right now. That's why I use it a lot. And then for new builds i mean the 5600 is in a really good sweet spot the 12400 f is also in a good sweet spot and if you want like a higher end latest generation then the 7600 is pretty good right now as well but not not as much as the others all right here we go forza horizon 5 fired up oh let me get signed in real quick That Microsoft account doesn't exist. That's because I typed it in wrong. And boom. There we go. <clears throat> Mr. Smooth Dangle says, I don't want to watch Twitch ads anymore. And he uses Twitch Prime Sub. Let's go. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. The auto detect system has chosen the following preset for your system. Ultra. No, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, but I don't know if we're ready for ultra. All right. So this is Forza Horizon 5. We're going to jump up the frame rate. Can we make this unlimited? Nope. Nope. We'll just say it's 240 because that's what our screen is. V-Sync off. Show FPS on. Motion blur off. We'll just turn off all... AA for right now. Save that. 
and then we'll go to graphics and let's change it to high and make sure that ray tracing yeah ray tra i don't know why high settings turns ray tracing on automatically we definitely don't want ray tracing on this okay so there we go and now let's run this benchmark and see what we do in high settings boom i think you can go oh yeah you're right mark you can go unlimited fps once you turn off yeah you're exactly right i forgot about that yeah i, I knew i've seen unlimited with forza before This PC is so good value for the money. Do you think that at six hundred dollars or five fifty? <laughs> at four hundred and two dollars, yeah, it's amazing value. But how high can I sell it? And it's still good value for somebody. That's the real question. Are any of the parts used? And which sites did you use? Yeah, most of them are, or several. The thir the Ryzen five thirty six hundred, I bought from AliExpress for $62. The graphics card cost 90. You can buy a GTX 1080 for cheaper than 90, but I specifically wanted an EVGA SC that way I could do the paint job because you can take apart the the corners and the badges and whatnot. Um, that I bought used off of Jawa. And I think those are the only two used parts. Yeah, that's it. Everything else is brand new. So I use Jawa and AliExpress for the used parts. How's the neck? We're getting there. We're getting there. We're at like 85% mobility. Almost there. Painful at 10 Betty says, according to Forbes, this is the best PC for $800. Nice. <laughs> well, we definitely don't want to tail what Forbes is saying as we've been discovering this month. How do you get the benchmark results in Notepad through MSI Afterburner? You, I mean, by default, MSI Afterburner will output all of the benchmarking results to a text file, but you can just point the text file wherever you want. So I always just create a new text file on the desktop and then change the directory and the settings to that. I can show it to you once we get there. All right, let's see how this one goes. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. There we go. All right, benchmark has started. That is looking very nice for 1080p high. You know, honestly, we probably could have went 1080p ultra. That is looking very nice. You know, and look at our CPU. Our CPU is at 64 degrees. You know, we're perfectly fine. Again, the the temperatures that you get from Cinebench are absolute worst case scenario. So yeah, I mean, we're we're looking we're looking real solid over here. And those graphics look nice. I mean, we're at 100. Maybe we do go to ultra. Yeah, we probably should go to ultra, honestly. We'll let this play out and then go to ultra. That's pretty crazy. 1080p ultra on Forza with a 1080? Let's go. That's pretty good. How do you feel about the RX 6600 and a Ryzen 5 5500? If, if that's all you want to spend, like if that's your, your max budget for a brand new build, then yeah, I mean, it's a good combo. It's a good combo. This looks better on the 1080 than my 3060. Cinebench runs AVX, nothing worse for a CPU. Yeah, I mean, we're talking absolute worst case scenario. You know, we're, I mean, we're gaming here perfectly fine, 67 degrees. Granted, we do have the side panel off, but again, your Cinebench temperature is not what you're going to get in gaming. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop, it, stop the benchmark. Okay, 100 FPS? Yeah, so we're going to go... We're going to go ultra. Oh, yeah, there's extreme too. I forgot about that. We're not going to do extreme. We'll do ultra because that sounds good. All right, ultra, but we'll turn ray tracing off. We'll save that. And yeah, we'll restart. We'll restart the, the benchmark. But yeah, so this is the mundane, tedious task of benchmarking a gaming PC if you didn't already know. <laughs> How many people do you, how many people in here have probably never went through like a game to game to game to game benchmarking run? Like maybe you've benchmarked like a game here and there, but how many people have never gone through like just a full straight up benchmarking run? 
Because out of everything we've just done so far, we're only two benchmarks in. <laughs> Me. I never have. Never will. <laughs> I never built a PC before. Yeah, a little bit behind on that one. Mark says, not going to lie, I like benchmarking. I do like benchmarking with you guys. That is much better. My ultimate preference would have would be having Sam benchmark. But I guess my second my second most favorite would be benchmarking myself but with you guys. I like the process of it all. Have you done thermal testing yet? We've done random thermal paste testing here and there, never like a huge dedicated video or anything. All right, let's see what Ultra can do. Start the benchmark. Yeah, I mean, that, that looks really nice. I can't believe this is on a GTX 1080. I mean, this card's over five years old. I mean, that's looking real clean. We've, we've done random thermal testing for, like, very obscure, weird reasons and whatnot in the past, but never, like, a straight-up, like, super in-depth gamer's nexus level of thermal testing or anything. Fire Medic with the 10 says, I've been trying to streamline my benchmarking process, so I really appreciate the inside look. Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, I wouldn't consider this streamlined. Like, I'm sure if you watch Sam benchmark it at the ZTT HQ, like, he would be probably five games in by now. Um, he has all of that down, down pat. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is about what it would look like. I'm excited for Forza Motorsport. I am too. We might stream that. The new Motorsport is... It's already out now, I think, on early access. But I'm not going to spend $100 for that. And if it has a built-in benchmarking tool, then I'll definitely buy it for ZTT. That way we can use it. Yes, please. Yeah. I'm excited. Is the i5-12600K good? Yeah, it's really good. Fire Medic with a 10 bit, he says, would love to see Sam doing work. Should we just do the straight up UFD 24-7 stream in the ZTT HQ? Okay, there we go. We got 70 FPS. That is looking pretty solid for 1080p Ultra. So let's run that one one more time as our second Ultra benchmark, and then we'll be good to go. Do you happen to stream any gaming? Yeah, I mean, occasionally we'll do the, the cat streams, which is kind of what this is as well. Uh, but once we get through all the canned benchmarks, we will... I'll do the, the gameplay ones. Like Starfield, Fortnite, Counter-Strike 2. We're going to do those tonight as well. But whenever I benchmark a gaming PC, I always do the canned benchmarks first. Which canned benchmark is just like the built-in benchmarking tools where it's essentially just like hands-off. I always do those first because A you feel a sense of accomplishment because these go by pretty quickly. But B, it's the easiest way to see if something is wrong real quickly. You know, because, I mean, you just, you just start to learn, like, what results you should get. And there's, like, way less variables when you use the built-in benchmarks and whatnot. So I always just like to do these first, see how the system's performing, make sure it's performing how I would expect it to. We're not getting any weird glitches or hiccups or dropped frames or anything. And then I'll start benchmarking the more manual benchmarks. Like I said, we're going to do Starfield, CS2, and uh, Fortnite. Fortnite tonight, probably, if we get to all that. Posture check. I know, I know, I know. Painful at 10, but he says 24-7 stream equals free security guards watching your camera. Yeah, but it also shows to the world that there's nobody in the studio, <laughs> which I don't like. Okay, there we go. All right, 70 FPS. Again, right on the money. That is looking good. Again, 1080p Ultra. Let's Alt F4 out of there and call it a day. So here's what our MSI Afterburner document looks like now. So this first benchmark, we got 101 FPS, but that was with 1080p high settings. We don't want that. And then we got both 70 FPS for both 69.6, 69.7, we got that for both of these. So that is validated. We will get rid of all of this information. Boom. And then for Forza, I'll put 1080p Ultra. Boom. Now we have three benchmarks done. 
Cyberpunk in 1080p Medium, Forza Horizon 5 in 1080p Ultra, and Time Spy. And then our last canned benchmark of the day is going to be Call of Duty. And this one can take a while because you have to install shaders first. When does the giveaway end? It's going to end on... Everything is the same over here except it's going to end on October 12th. Which is this Thursday. Oh my god, there's an update, really? I was going to say, I just pulled this up before the stream started. And verified that there wasn't an update. That's ridiculous. Uh, October 12th is when we're going to be announcing the giveaway for the RTX 3070 gaming PC over here. And on October 12th as well, we're going to be building the next giveaway PC. So, these this whole this extra week is just some time for you to get a couple extra points to increase your chances of of winning. Restart after update? Do I need to? Like restart battle? Hey Zach, how do you consider the price of a gaming PC if you want to flip? I mean, there's a lot of factors. I mean, all the basic ones of how much profit are you trying to turn? How much profit do you think you can turn? What is the competition if you're selling it online? Like, what's the competition currently for the price range on Jawa or Mercari or wherever you're trying to sell it, eBay? And how much money are you willing to accept for your time? You know, if you're like some kid in high school trying to make a buck, then, you know, a $75 profit on building a gaming PC and having fun is probably worth it for you, you know, but as you have increased demands of your salary and whatnot, um, and have more responsibilities, you you probably wouldn't accept $75 for all the benchmarking, the building, the buying and whatnot. So, I mean, it just, it just all depends on your current situation. But obviously, you want to just try and get as high as you <laughs> as high as you possibly can, man. Okay. <clears throat> Time is money? Yeah, exactly. What do you do if your PC is stuck on automatic repair? If you're going through the automatic repair process, you most likely need to reinstall Windows. Very rarely will Windows be able to fix itself from that. What headset do you have? It's the Corsair HS80. Is Black Friday a great day to buy PC parts? One of the best days of the year, yes. Yeah, I mean, the, the Black Friday last year and even Prime Day last year was really good for PC parts. You know, it's never going to be, it's usually not to the point where it's like, oh my God, you have to wait for Black Friday. Like right now, if you wanted a gaming PC and you're thinking about waiting, the prices will definitely be lower from now into, or on Black Friday compared to now, just because there are no like real big launches coming other than Intel 14th gen, which is coming in like a week or two, I think. I forget. But the market right now, at least like the parts available are what's going to be available for Black Friday. So that should result in like actual discounts, like not fake discounts or whatnot. I'm waiting for Black Friday. And if you already have a gaming PC right now, sorry, I'm just being awkward with my neck. Um, if you already have a gaming PC right now and like you're playing it and it's perfectly fine, then yeah, maybe it's a good idea to wait until Black Friday. But if you're just sitting there, like not being able to play with your friends and you don't have a gaming PC at all right now, or you're, pet, or you're playing on a potato laptop that like barely gets 720p, then I probably wouldn't wait. I would just build it right now. That way you can enjoy it. Okay. 
All right, so we are in, finally. Uh, let's see if I remember how to get to this benchmark. I think it's in multiplayer, right? The built-in benchmarking tool. I don't even know how to operate Call of Duty. This menu just keeps getting more and more confusing. How do you get to the private match? There it is, benchmark. Okay, perfect. So let's go to, I can already tell, like, it's still lagging. Yeah, the shaders are only at 6%. You can just tell that, like, the menus are lagging and all that. But let's go to graphics here. GTX 1080, screen refresh rate, boom, boom. We don't want dynamic resolution. V-Sync is off. Custom frame rate, we just want unlimited for right now. And let's go to quality, apply that. We'll go to... Basic, because we can call that medium settings, because it's one above low. Unless we just put basic. We don't want any sort of upscaling right now. We'll leave it there. Anti-aliasing? No, we don't need that. For this. Uh, and then everything else looks good. So these will be 1080p medium settings. I would anticipate we'll get a decent... We can turn reflex off. I would assume in film grain, well, I guess we'll go down because that's what Mark told me. There we go. All right, so those settings should work for us. So we're just going to wait. You can see it up here behind the MSI afterburner. Shader optimization, 21%. That can hide from you sometimes. If you try to run the benchmark with those still going, you'll get an awful result. So we're going to have to wait that out. Basic sounds good. Yeah, basic should get us above 100 FPS. You know, for, for any type of competitive shooter... You definitely want to showcase as high of FPS as possible while still maintaining that good presentation for your flip. You know, like, again, do you want to say that you ran in 1080p low or medium or whatever? It's always it's always just a balancing act of getting higher settings, but higher FPS to showcase to a potential buyer. I'm really enjoying these benchmarks. I'm glad to hear it. I've never benchmarked live like this before. Hope you're feeling better, Zach. We are. We're, we're doing, feeling, feeling better. Good tips. What games are you doing? We've already done Time Spy, Cyberpunk, and Forza. We're going to do Call of Duty right now. And then after that, we will probably do Starfield, Fortnite, Counter-Strike 2, and one wild card. <laughs> I don't know what that last one's going to be. But I was planning on doing eight eight total benchmarks. You do, you definitely... Here's another thing. I haven't explained this yet. You definitely don't need eight different benchmarks for a sale posting. I'm only doing eight because we're also turning this into a YouTube video. If I was just doing a sale posting, I would probably only benchmark... Like, like you're definitely not going to advertise your 3D Mark Times by score. Because people that are interested in buying pre-built gaming PCs, they have no idea what 3D Mark even is. So I would probably do, right now, Call of Duty, Valorant, and S Starfield or Cyberpunk. I could, You can make a case for either one. Starfield, because a lot of people are still playing it, but... I like Cyberpunk better because it's easier to run than Starfield. Starfield's one of the hardest games to play right now. Um, but you would only need to display three or four games on a sale posting. I'm just doing eight because we're turning it into a YouTube video. Okay, all of our settings are set. I'm going to close the game just because Call of Duty is very funky. So I'm going to close the game one time and bring it back up. Shaders are installed our settings are set let's just make sure that we get a clean clean output here we should be good to go call of duty is just funky a lot of pre-builds are bought by mothers and fathers for their younger children so fortnite might be a good one oh and fortnite yeah sorry that was definitely my fourth i i got trailed off there counter strike 2 i really like right now just because it's brand new and Counter-Strike 2 is more demanding than CSGO. Zach, can you name a game harder to run than Starfield? I, I, I don't know. 
I'm sure there is one, but all the games we benchmark, Starfield is definitely the hardest. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, like... Are there any other truly... Oh, wow, I missed some super chats. I apologize. Oh, my God. Dig Holy... Oh, my God. Diggy with the $2 super chat says, Love the videos. Thank you, Diggy. Oh, also Diggy says, Here are some more monies. I appreciate that. Sorry I missed both those messages. Oh, my goodness. Sweets with the $2 dono says, Did the last PC giveaway happen already? No, no, no. We're good. Uh, October 12th, which is this Thursday. We're just extending it one more week. Gamer Noobs also with the $2 super chat says, Zach, what Intel CPU should I get for a 1080 Ti? Why does it have to be... Why does it have to be Intel? Wow. Uh, a, a good sweet spot, sweet spot would probably be like the... If you have to go Intel, maybe like a 10400F or a 10600K, somewhere around there. You know, you can still get 10th gem for pretty cheap now. And it's still relatively modern. I mean, the 1080 Ti is still a good card. Are shaders really... The, the, this shader reinstall should not take as long. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh my god. See, st Call of Duty is just... It's very funky. I, I don't like benchmarking. How much storage does the PC have? One terabyte. How dare you miss the super... I know. I, I don't know why I was missing that. It's definitely my neck. I'm trying to... <laughs> Trying to minimize the amount of neck movement I have over here. And <laughs> alerts, chat, the camera, and this PC are all at four different angles. And I'm doing my best to to scale them. <laughs> yeah, the, the SSD that we're running everything from is a SATA SSD. Which is why things are taking a little bit longer than if you're used to NVMe speeds. But we do that. That way we don't have to install all of these benchmarking games every single time to every single new pc we just take that 2.5 inch sata drive and just bounce it around from from pc to pc what are we sipping on tonight i had a decaf coffee and now i'm sipping on some water <laughs> it's not a true not a true sipping saturday is anybody else sipping just good to see you mobile yeah i mean we're feeling good I, I was on Wednesday when I sent the message that we're not going to do the Thursday stream. I mean, my neck was actually at 10% mobility. Like I, I, I couldn't, I mean, it was just swelled up. It wasn't that the injury was so bad. It was just my trap swelled up so much that it was preventing any sort of movement. I mean, I, I couldn't look up at all. Like I was walking around like this with my, my chin tucked. Cause this was the only like resting position. I couldn't, I, cu I couldn't even do this. I couldn't even move that much. It was that bad on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, but now I have my, my side to side. Like I can't move farther than that right now. I'm at like 85% mobility. Sleeping did. Yeah. The first two nights sleeping was brutal. I was waking up multiple times throughout the night and like, I was like dazed and confused because it was the middle of the night. And I like kept trying to convince myself to sleep on my side but every time i would do that like my neck would just like scream at me uh yeah the first two nights sucked last night was a little bit better about to run a few matches of warzone while i got you on nice okay all right we're good to go over here <clears throat> So, all of our settings are set for 1080p medium. Let's run this benchmark. Where do we go? Multiplayer, I think. What's the water bottle? This is an LTT water bottle. All right, benchmark. Start. Poor fo oh my god, are you serious? Oh, okay. Our right, MSI afterburner is good. Sometimes MSI afterburner will crash on you. And... In order to get it to to relaunch, you have to close out of whatever game you have, reopen MSI Afterburner, and then reopen the game. I thought that happened, but no, we're good. False alarm. Yeah, LTT water bottle. Yeah, we have a lot of LTT water bottles. We got a couple from LTX this year. Brett from UFD Tech gave us a couple. Oops. 
There we go. All right, there we go. So we're at 90, 90 FPS right off the bat. Would like to see that a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, now we're at 120. I don't really know when the end of this benchmark is, so I'm gonna have to stay on my toes here for this one. Okay, now we're averaging the the first number up in the top left. The first one is the the current FPS. The second number is the current average FPS. And then the third number is the current 1% low FPS. So that middle number is what we're gonna advertise as the average FPS. So at 117, I'm definitely comfortable with that. Let's, let's see if we can stay strong here. Well above 100. That would be ideal. For a... Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. No, that's not over yet. Is it over? I'll end the benchmark now. Because I think it's over. <laughs> okay, yeah. That was it. Good call. All right. 113 FPS. Yeah, that. I mean, that's good. Let's run that one more time and get confirmation on that. I'll keep it right there. That's good for me. Those are actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. 113 FPS, 1080p medium on a $400 gaming PC? Yeah, for sure. I'll advertise that all day. This is insane. Warzone is a pretty demanding game. Yeah, I mean, the the, the only thing that could have made this better is a 5700 XT, <laughs> which we do have in a build coming soon. The 3600 is very well optimized for price to performance right now, and the GTX 1080 in a $400 build is pretty good. What GPU would you pair with a flipping build that has a 3700X? Probably a 5700XC. Oh, well, no. For a flip, though, no, maybe not. No, no, no. Never mind. I don't I don't like the 5700XC for flipping because your average consumer and your mom or dad that's buying a pre-built for their kid, they don't know what a 5700XT is. So for flips, NVIDIA is always the better option. Uh, but for a personal build, yeah, 5700XC. Oh, jeez. 5700 XT would definitely be the the play. Oh, is that the end? Yeah, I think we're there. All right, boom. Okay, boom, 113 FPS. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we got last time. So let's Alt F4 this. And Call of Duty is officially done. Thankfully. We'll go to MSI Afterburner. Yeah, we got 112 and 113. Boom. So that's perfect. We'll average the 113, shall we? Get rid of this information, this information, and boom. 1080p medium. All right. There we go. Four benchmarks are done. We are halfway there. And if you missed the first part of the stream, our 3D Mark time spy got 7,388. Cyberpunk in 1080p medium got 63. FPS, 1080p medium. Forza Horizon 5 and 1080p Ultra got 70 FPS. And then Call of Duty and 1080p medium got 113 FPS. Those are all looking very, very nice. Okay, what do we want to do next? Starfield, Counter-Strike, Valorant, or Fortnite? All of these games I'm not looking forward to playing. <laughs> we'll play Starfield. <laughs> we'll play Starfield. This is going to be a tough one. The GTX 1080 is definitely going to struggle a little bit in Starfield. We will definitely be at 1080p low. I'm going to hope we can get away with 100% resolution scale, but we'll see. We might need to tune that down for 60 FPS. Yeah, Valorant's going to be bad. I haven't played Valorant. I haven't played any shooter in months. It's going to be bad. Any competitive shooter in months, I should say. Valorant, and I, I haven't even played CS2 yet at all. Not a single time. All right, here's Starfield. We're going to have to build some shaders. What do you think about an 8700 and a 3080? That, that might be a bottleneck. That 8700, there's a good chance that that's going to bottleneck a 3080. I would look that up. When is the PC giveaway ending? October 12th, thurs this Thursday. Yeah, we're just extending it by one week. That's all that we're doing. Starfield is a load screen simulator. Okay, here we go. So let's go to settings. 
Display. Uh, Monkey giving out one tier one gifted sub. Let's go. Our first gifted sub of the night. Oh, wait. You did that on YouTube and Twitch. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much. Monkey with a machine gun coming in hot. How did you coordinate that at the same time on both? That's super impressive. I appreciate it. <laughs> Is the stream still good? Because it looks like it's lagging. Are we still good over here? Monkey dub? Yeah, that's a big dub. All right, here we go. Let's go to render resolu dynamic resolution off. 100% scale. And we will go to low. Off. 100%. Low. V-Sync off. Upscaling off. Film grain down. Boom. All right, those look like good. Good for me. So we have a save here that we use to benchmark. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to, no. There we go. We have a level one save, not my personal save, where we run the benchmark. So we'll do that. Just so we keep it consistent. 135 FPS in the home screen. Should I just advertise that? Zach, do I have to buy tickets with my points or will my points alone get me into the giveaway? No, you have to buy the points. Exclamation point, raffle, space, and then the number that you want. Oh, this is not good. Oh, 40 FPS. Oh, man. I thought we were going to do a little bit better than that. 40 FPS? This doesn't feel right, though. That GPU is at 97%, 98%. Starfield's a tough one, man. Starfield is definitely a tough one. Okay. Let's, um... Yeah, the giveaway is also on YouTube. So, like, the meta play is to put the stream up on both YouTube and Twitch. Little cheat code for you. All right, let's make sure we're good. Yeah, we have all low. V-Sync off. Okay. Yeah, this is tough. So, can I not change the resolution while I'm in a game? I probably have to go back to the main menu. Yikes. I thought I thought we were, I thought we were going to be able to do 60. Yeah, this is a tough one. Let's see what we get away with on Well, here's the thing. If you go to low, yikes. Yeah, it's a tough one. Let's go to let's just go to the default 50% resolution scale and see how bad that is. Or no, let's actually let no 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 let's do no let's I don't want to use upscaling. Let's do low 50% scale. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what it looks like. So for a build like this. I would not recommend advertising your Starfield FPS, you know, just because it's, we're talking about the most demanding game to run on the market right now, possibly. You're not doing yourself any favors if you're not getting 60 FPS. I am going to continue with this benchmark, though, just for the YouTube video. Is this loading? Frozen? Uh, I definitely want the benchmark just for the YouTube video, but I probably wouldn't advertise this on your on your sale listing if you can't hit 60 FPS. Yeah. It was on 1440p? No, it wasn't. Oh, you're talking about yours. Try max and min settings. I think we froze. Did we freeze here? Oh. What is going on here? Oh, I opened up the console. There we go. I don't know how that happened. Oh, it's still frozen though. Okay, what well, F4 that? Close bad on that. Try to redo that. <clears throat> I play on 1080p for my monitor. I've been playing on 1080p as well. I the, My monitor with an RTX 3080 is still 1080p, but that's mostly because of the live stream. You know, I mean, the 3080, like, can't play Starfield in 1440p. So it's definitely starting to show its age already with the really demanding games. But 
for streaming, it's just, it's not worth the complication of jumping back between 1440p and 1080p. So I've been just sticking to a 1080p 240 hertz monitor down here in, in my basement. Play Mountain Blade Banner Lord 2. Is that a game? Sounds like you just made up some words there. Crystal Aljadir. Al Crystal Jadir. Crystal Jadir. Jadir. With the Twitch Prime sub. Come back for five months now. Thank you. That is one month away from the coveted gold ZTT badge. Gold ZTT badge. Yeah, thank you. Okay, low. Why is it not letting me adjust this? Low. 50% off. 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 That is what we want. Please save. Now let me load my... Yes, load. There we go. Okay, I don't know what was going on there. War Thunder has a benchmarking tool? Yeah, I saw that on the list. I've never seen it be run, though. I've never seen somebody benchmark War Thunder. On I've only ever seen people like me advertise War Thunder for pre-roll ads. Okay, that didn't really help. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> All right, so we'll do, we'll do our full benchmarking run here real quick, just for the YouTube video. Again, this would not be... What we would do, oh my god, a little bit of lag, and that doesn't, those graphics aren't the prettiest I've ever seen. Um, we would not run, I would not showcase this on, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of, oh wait, that's my mouse stuttering. That's some wireless interference on my mouse. That's not the actual PC lagging. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to showcase this on the sale posting. You're just not going to do yourself any favor. But this is what we do for our Starfield benchmarking run. We'll do some laps around this opening scene. And I like this because whenever you're... There's no shooting. But whenever you're looking off here into the mountains, your FPS goes up a little bit. So like 56, 57 FPS up there as you can see. And then as soon as you get back here, it drops down to like the, the lower... FPS of your range so when you do laps around here you're getting like the full spectrum and then for space combat your FPS is way higher compared to on the ground as well so I think that kind of balances out not doing a shooting scene but I mean to each their own like it all depends on what what you what you have time for but yeah this is this is definitely not a FPS benchmark that will that will showcase on the on the sale person. Why not use a wired mouse? Because whenever I do these streams, I don't want to have all these wires all around me and I'd rather just have wireless mice good to go. Like right now I have this wireless mouse for the PC and then I have this wired mouse, which ironically is charging. Um, but this wireless mouse for the my streaming PC right here. I don't want to have wires all over the place. But yeah, I mean, this is going to be good enough. I'm not even going to run this twice just because we already saw that this was the, we saw that this was the average during the first time we did it before I restarted it. So, I mean, this is looking pretty good. We'll run around here trying to get a little bit more realistic. We're looking at 47 FPS. It's still certainly playable, but again, not something that you really want to advertise. Starfield should really only be advertised on high-end builds if you're trying to flip them. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely a definitely a tough one to run. Posture check. Yeah, my posture's been horrible today, but that uh, it's honestly because of my uh, my neck. Okay, there we go. Starfield not looking too good. But that is unfortunately what is going to happen. Okay, there we go. 47.5 FPS. We'll call that 1080p low 50% resolution scale. Definitely want to note that. 
All right, now we can get to the games that you guys can make fun of me for. Fortnite, Valorant, and CSGO. Let's do Fortnite first. Let's see how this one does. Uh, no, you do not have to be present for the giveaway. No, I mean, people have been earning these giveaway points for an entire month. We're now going on week five of the giveaway. So if the, if the one stream you can't make it, I don't want to penalize you guys for it. So I really hope that whoever wins the this PC that we're giving away, I really hope that they're there for this Thursday live stream, which will be at this time or 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. But if they're not, it's okay. CS2, you mean? What are you talking about, Mark? No, I'm not getting the hydrate. I got the... Oh, f Ugh. Sometimes I, I move my neck in the wrong spot, and it's just brutal pain. Well, I'm all hard hydrated up. All right, Fortnite is up here. I definitely don't know anything about what's the latest in Fortnite. I will claim this, though. Oh, yeah. The last time I played, I bought this Dark Knight skin. I'm a fan. That looks pretty dope. Before we run this, though, I desperately need to take a bathroom break um, and then get some more water. So you guys don't go anywhere. Feel free to stick around, you know, while I'm going pee real quick to earn those extra points. But, yeah, I'll be right back in, like, a minute. Cheers, I'll drink to that, bro. All right, who thinks we're going to get a dub here on the Fortnite benchmarking run? I think there's a pretty high chance that I do, right? The chances have got to be high that I just crank out a dub on the first benchmarking game. I think so. Dub, I do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, here we go. Let's go to... I don't even know where settings are. God, I really don't. Settings. There we go. All right. 1080p frame rate limit. We want to go unlimited. Motion blur off. For Fortnite Pro settings, it's usually low. No AA. 100% uh, resolution scale. And view distance. Epic. That's usually what most people consider pro settings. So it's low. 100% and then as far view distance as it goes. 
Oh, wait, 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 what's this? Ranked, off. No, I, I, how do I do no builds? Isn't there a no builds thing? Oh my god, I don't even know how to use this. Change. Switch modes from the lobby? Okay. How do I get to zero builds? It's a whole different game mode. Popular. Zero build. Battle Royale. That's what I want, right? Yeah, there we go. Zero build. Battle Royale. Solo. Okay, there we go. I think that's what we need. Is that it? I thought this game was dead. No, I mean, this is like still one of the most popular games. <laughs> Especially for a pre-built, somebody that mentioned this earlier, you definitely want to know how much, uh, you want to post how much FPS you get in Fortnite for a pre-built. I would get people when we were selling builds locally who would ask, hey, what FPS does I get in Fortnite when I would have it listed Fortnite FPS? <laughs> you got this dub, Zach? All right, let's see how it's running. Okay, a little, little, little choppy here at the beginning, that's fine. 140, 160 FPS. Hopefully that smooths out here. I still don't get the hype around Fortnite. Oh, I need volume. Hold on, I gotta crank that up. I definitely need volume for... Let's actually turn the music off. Cause I'm, I'm gonna need volume for this. I'm not sure if that's loud enough. Wait, I'm not getting any volume. Oh, yes I am, okay. Let me know if that's too loud for you guys. That's called assisted literacy, AKA having customer service read for you. Wait, why is my keyboard not working? Okay, there we go. All right, where are we dropping? <laughs> I don't have a single Part of this, we'll go to Rumble Ruins. I don't have a single part of this map locked off for me at all. <laughs> all right. Well, I, I'm not gonna start the benchmark till we land. Uh, Tove B with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. I feel like I'm getting some interference here with these wireless peripherals. I do have a sick skin though. This is pretty legit. All right, how are we feeling about the dub? I think it's gonna happen for sure. Might be a little quiet. Yeah, I think we're good now. Batman is so cool. This is a very dope skin. Okay. All right, where are things? Oh, let's run our benchmark. Okay. I mean, we're definitely um, getting some some stuttering here though but i mean it, it could start figuring itself off figuring itself out and get a little bit better over time there we go i don't know what you are or who you are what is this smg okay that looks good we're off to a good start what are the pro settings again 1080p low but with a 100% resolution scale and epic view distance. If I am on a potato PC, I'll move the epic view distance to... Oh, wait. Is that a bad guy? Oh, what the... F That's a bot or AI or whatever. I don't know. I don't want to fight him. Um, then I'll move the, the view distance to... Oh, my God. I dropped my SMG. Damn it. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. We're going to have to go get that back. Tactical DMR? Oh, it's game over now. I don't know what it, what that is, but it is game over. Havoc Supreme? I'll take that. I don't know. Any of these guns or anything. MP NPC, yes. That's what I was trying to say. Thank you. Zach, you can sprint in this game? <laughs> I actually don't remember a thing about Fortnite right now. Oh, wow. I did not expect to be that zoomed in. Oh. 
Thank you. What is this? Shotgun? Alright, we'll get that. Can I open this? No. SMG? Yes, we want that. Okay. Alright, I think we're ready to rock. Alright, can we go kill somebody, please? Uh, we're looking at 197 average FPS, at least in here. That's looking pretty good. Uh oh, it's, it's game on. Let's go. Oh, my God. I hit him once. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, 191 FPS. It's pretty good. I would advertise that. Where did this fool go? Is he hiding? Don't know. I lost him. Wow, that was bad. Yeah, that was really bad shooting. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played a first person or a, com a competitive shooter in like literal months. This is my warm up game right here. But we're gonna get this guy for sure. Oh, oh my god. My mouse. That was not me. That was my mouse. Sit down. That that was not me though. <laughs> that, <laughs> my mouse like glitched out there and like went dead for a second. But we did get a kill. Let's go. That was atrocious though. I apologize. Okay. Medkit por favor. This is some riveting gameplay. So <laughs> what you call pro gameplay. Pro settings for a pro gamer. All right, we'll stop the benchmark. I think we're good at 181 average FPS. That's pretty good. Let's finish out this game, though. Shall we? All right, what do we have here? What is this? SMG. Combat FSMG. DMR. What is this? DMR. Oh, so we want this. Okay. That's not bad. I had a heart attack for you. No, we're good. I think we handled that quite well. Other than the mouse glitching. We got to figure out. Maybe I can move this PC just a little bit closer to me here. I don't know what's going on with the mouse interference. It could be the Wi-Fi. All right, where are we going? Well, we're in the center. So let's just start looking for people. Zipline? Okay. Oh. How? How? What? What the? Oh, I was going the wrong way. Or I was looking the wrong way. There we go. There we go. All right. Fortnite pro player here. Can I jump across there? Yes. Wow, that works. Oh. Hit a tree. Where am I supposed to go? Crash pad. Don't know what that does. My shift button's not working like every time I want it to. There's definitely... Oh, wait, never mind. That's because my shift did not... Or my sprint did not replenish. Alright, I'm remembering things. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Someone clip this? Y you mean clip that headshot kill? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I would clip that too if I were you. All right, where are we going? What is this? Jedi training lightsaber? What the f... Batman with a lightsaber? Oh my god. Oh. Now that's legit. Oh, I see somebody. I didn't know they put lightsabers in this. Is that news? Where do you go? Wow. Oh, it's over now? That's what I'm thinking. Just, I like to reveal my position sometimes like that. That way people come attack me so I can get my content faster. It's usually the play. Somebody remind me that I... Oh, okay, those are NPCs. That's not an NPC. Oh, where's he going? Oh, he's getting close. Oh, we got some shots on him. Wait, is that an NPC? 
Which one's an NPC? Oh no, this one's not. Oh my god. Lightsaber. <sighs> Forgot about the lightsaber. It's too late. Okay. All right. I didn't know if he was an NPC or not. <sighs> not bad. Not bad. All right. The mission's done, though. We got a kill. And we got the benchmark done. I will consider that a dub, and I leveled up. <sighs> Lurk. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Don't bring a lightsaber to a gunfight? Yeah, I wish somebody would have told me that earlier. Thanks for the heads up. I mean, number 45 is a win in my book? That's what I'm saying, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if that's not a win, I don't know what is. Top 50? Top 45, even? All right, let's do Valorant. That one should be fun as well. <laughs> Bro was playing Among Us in Fortnite. <laughs> you block attacks with a lightsaber with a right click? Wow. Does it block them 100%? That's interesting. Oh, wait, hold on. We got to get to our benchmark here. All right, Fortnite... 181 FPS? Hold on. Oh, I need to log in with Valorant? I don't know what that is. All right. Fortnite 1080p Pro settings. 181 FPS. That'll work. Uh, What the... F do I actually have to do this? Dude, I don't know what my account is. Let me check my password manager here. Is Sam watching this? What in the world is the Valorant account? Or Riot Games account? I don't remember having a Riot Games account. Oh, there it is. Riot Games. Boom. Okay. You guys can't see this, can you? Okay. All right, let me log in real quick. Hopefully this is right. There's no way that's right. Oh my God, it is. Let's go. Wow. Yeah, wow, I didn't know. Wait, what is this install BS? I thought I already installed the game. Oh, do I not have Valorant? Maybe we're not playing Valorant tonight. I thought it was already installed. Or maybe this is just like the anti-cheat or something. What in the world is this? Whatever it is, it's going fast. 22%? I've never installed Valorant through Epic Games. So, yeah, I didn't know that. My bad. Apparently, the whenever you install it in Epic Games, that only gets you to the launcher. I mean, we're 25%. We might as well wait. Or is this the anti-cheat? What is this? I, yeah, I've never ran Valorant through Epic's, Epic before. This is my first time. Vanguard is the trap is the crappy oh it, okay it is installing Vanguard okay cool yeah I don't know what why I decided to do epic I think it's just so I didn't have to go to riot games's website do most people not play in epic yeah I don't know oh I feel like I missed some some messages here uh people Tippity says you oh wait I did read that what were the Oh, it's on YouTube. My bad. You guys are going crazy over on YouTube today. Um, Sam Ladner with the dollar super chat and no message. Oh my goodness. Nothing? I need a message here, my guy. Thank you, though. Much appreciated. I just don't play period. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a good strategy as well. I really need to know. I built your $400 DIY ARGB Q3. You built... I don't know what build that was. I forget. The fans keep changing color. What do you do to stop that? Dude, I don't know. Unplug and replug in the fan hub connector and play around with that. You're going to have to pay me to run a kernel level anti-cheat. Yeah, a lot of people were upset about that. Or I remember they are. I'm pretty sure they all got over it, though. Oh, man. I'm sore. 
is a Ryzen 5 5600X with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 for $150 good. Yeah, I mean, you're saving a little bit of money there. The 5600X right now is what, like 130, 140? You know, 16 gigabyte of RAM, as long as there's a good RAM kit at good speeds. Then yeah, I mean, you're saving 20 to 40 bucks. Do you read Twitch and YouTube chat? Yeah, I read both. Fifty six hundred X is around one forty three right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're saving twenty to forty bucks, like I said. Every competitive game community is toxic AF. Yeah, yeah. We're not going anywhere near Valorant ranked. We're just gonna hop into Team Deathmatch. If that's still a thing. I have not, as you can tell by that gameplay, I have not done benchmarking <laughs> in quite some time. Oh, but I did. I actually made some significant gaming progress. I beat the main storyline in Starfield last night. I'm pretty happy with myself. Diana, my wife asked me, Diana, last night when I did that. She's like, what was the last game that you ever beat? Now, like, I didn't 100% Starfield, not even close. But I did beat the main story. I don't think I've beat a single-player game or, like, the main story of a single-player game since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Or Far Cry 3. <laughs> Both of those are circa 2014 because the only reason I beat both of those was because I brought a gaming laptop with me when I was deployed to Afghanistan and those were the two games that I had pre-installed and I just played the campaign since the internet was atrocious out there obviously and so I had all my downtime I was playing Far Cry 3 and Advanced Warfare I don't think I've beat a game a single player game for like what is that eight years other than starfield so i was very excited with myself i saw the end game credits and i was like damn let's go but then when you get to the starfield end game i'm not gonna spoil anything but the whole like new game plus system is like you start rethinking your life choices and you're like what 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 do i do here and it's it's bizarre. I've never seen a game handle New Game Plus slash End Game like Starfield does. And it was pretty wild. Yeah, eight years? Yeah, I don't think I've completed a game for eight years. I, as far as like single player games go, I've beaten not 100%. I've never 100% a game. Probably never will. But as far as like beat the main campaign or the main story or whatever probably less than five games those two far cry 3 and advanced warfare starfield now if you count pokemon and if you count beating the elite four then i've done that once as well honestly i can't think of another game that i've ever beat in my life i don't beat games to be fair i don't really play games that can be beat most of the games i play are like mmos where you don't beat them or like Diablo type of games where you don't beat them. <clears throat> Painful Attempity says, I'm sorry you were in another country on a military deployment while simming a military deployment. Yeah, the, the irony there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were working 12 hour shifts in Afghanistan. Come back to our, our bunks. And I would play Call of Duty. <laughs> What's your most played game? My most played game ever is definitely WoW. Um, but as far as like normal games go, like not MMOs, I had a huge Ark Survival Evolved kick. Like when it when it was in like early access, like the first year. I think I racked up like 200 hours, which is wild for me. I'm not sure if I have another 
game above a hundred hours. I just I don't I don't play a lot of games often. How was Afghanistan? Well, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, I was in the Air Force. Saw a couple of people ask him. Um, so I was not in combat in Afghanistan. Uh, when I was in Afghanistan, I was working on I was avionics. I was working on the the electronics on airplanes, specifically the electronic warfare systems. So I would I would fix the the chaff and flare systems. You know, like on a plane when it shoots flares for like a missile guided system coming at our planes the system that would shoot the flares and like the missile warning systems that would tell the flare system to shoot flares or chaff or whatever. I would work on those systems on planes. That was my first real job. Like when I was 18 out of high school. <clears throat> and then I became it. No, then, then I went to actual it slash cybersecurity in the air force. I did the the avionics position for like five years and then IT for like free. Hydrates. All right, this Vanguard's almost done. I don't know why it's taking so long. Can you show the PC? This is the giveaway PC. That's the PC that we're giving away. Again, here's all the details except October 12th. Just screenshot it now if you're new and you haven't seen yet. We are doing the giveaway here on Thursday. There's the PC again. 13400F3070, 32 gigabytes of, of RAM. It's copper with the hundred something. I don't know what currency that is, but thank you very much. No message. I would have loved to see a message, but thank you very much. And if you're talking about this PC, then this is the flipping Friday build, but you can already see that. Ryzen 5 3600. GTX 1080, 16 gigs of RAM. <coughs> this is the PC that we're currently benchmarking. We're almost done. The only thing we're waiting on right now is the Vanguard. We're at 95% done. And then we'll benchmark Vanguard. If you are tuning in late, here's the benchmarks that we got so far. Hi Time Spy got 7,300. And 88. We got um, Cyberpunk 1080p Medium got 63 FPS. Forza Horizon 5 and 1080p Ultra got 70 FPS. Call of Duty and 1080p Medium got 113 FPS. Starfield and 1080p Low only got 48 FPS. And Fortnite, which we just did in 1080p Pro, got 181 FPS. And now we're about to do... Your game requires a system re a system restart. Oh wow, I forgot about that. Oh wow, yeah. It's been so long since I've benchmarked. <laughs> I'm so out of touch with benchmarking. I'm really looking forward to this Flippin' Friday season two. Uh, PC attic with the twenty biddies. What am I missing here? Something is not working. I'm not getting all my mess all of my alerts. PC attic, are you giving away biddies? 20 biddies, 30 biddies. Oh, I missed ASD with the Twitch Prime sub. My activity feed's not working. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not getting all the alerts that I should be. Sorry, guys. There they are. I refreshed. Uh, PC Addict with the 30 biddies, also with the 20 biddies, aka the 50 biddies. Thank you very much. ASD with the Twitch Prime sub. Much appreciated. Sorry, I'm... Um, yeah, I missed this one. Toy B with the Twitch Prime sub 22 minutes ago. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. Crystal, I remember getting you. Monkey, I got you. We're good. Painful Attempity says, you may have game shutdown depending on whether your secure boot is set right. Oh, yeah, that could be an issue. We shall see. We shall see. Hopefully it works. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, I did not hit. Stay signed in. That was definitely user error.
Password manager again. Sorry, guys. We're almost done. We only have two more games to do. This and Counter-Strike. Boom. All right. Oh my God, an update? No, we're good. Okay, Valorant actually firing up. Painful Tempity says, I just set it for two friends. They said the game would crash after two minutes of play. Really? That would suck. We'll see. Zach, your Corsair Dominators aren't lighting up on your personal PC? Yeah, I have them turned off right now. The glare. If I turn them up, even at the lowest bright... Or no, if I turn them up at the maximum brightness, the glare is like way too strong for streaming. And especially when we use this camera, um, which we don't have plugged in right now for this type of live stream. But the glare is just too much. But when I lower the brightness, it becomes like yellow. You know, or no, no, they become like purple. They become purple whenever you lower the brightness of it. So I was just like, ah, I'll just turn them off. Okay, all right, here we go. We're at, we're actually in Valorant. I have no idea about the settings of Valorant. I haven't been, see my mouse is still lagging. Maybe it's cause it's right next to this wireless mouse. Uh, I think that was it. I think that's what's causing the issue. Okay, all right, settings. What do I do here? video 1080p no we don't want to limit or yeah we can limit the menus that's fine no no off graphics quality do we just go low and call it pro yeah we definitely don't need that off definitely off off, off, off. Okay, we'll call that pro. <laughs> I don't know what settings. My mouse feels like it's lagging though. Did my display settings get changed during that reboot? What the? Yeah, see, I knew something felt weird here. How did that happen? There we go. Why did my display settings get jacked up during that restart are you a wow player i i go through yeah there we go much better there we go i i go through phases i'm not playing it right now but yeah i go through phases and have since forever let me close this game out and then we'll fire it back up valorant is a really easy game so you can get away with high yeah i mean i know but it's like you might as well Okay. All right. That definitely feels okay. What capture card are you using? It's the Aver Media Duo. Turn on raw input buffer in general settings. What does that do? Raw input buffer. What is your opinion on Apex? It's too complicated for a battle royale for me. It helps your aim. That sounds like fake news. Is that legit? It makes your mouse your mouse smoother. That also sounds like fake news. <laughs> Is that actually legit? All right. General. What did you say? Oh, raw input buffer. It's in beta. No, I don't. I don't turn on beta settings here. No, we don't do things in beta. Okay, play. How do I play? Uh, team deathmatch? Should I just do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Deathmatch sounds good. Or team deathmatch, I mean. Yeah, sound good. See, our MSI afterburner is all jacked up because it's still in... The MSI Afterburner is still in 4K resolution, but I don't think that should affect us. We should be good. Oh, is the game in 4K too? I don't think so. 
I don't think the game's in 4K. Oh, I don't re I, I, I don't remember these at all. I remember picking this person at some point. You just saw it? Damn it. Can I change it while I'm in the game? Yeah, I don't remember these at all. I think I used to play this one. But I remember playing Sova at one point. Sova is a recon? Dude, I don't know. We're, we're, we're getting some benchmarking numbers and we're getting out of here. <clears throat> Valorant A? Yeah, this is just our second to last benchmark. This is my first time seeing gameplay of this game. Really? Wow. Yeah, I don't know anything about Valorant at this point. We're just trying to get the benchmarks. Valorant is definitely one that you still want to get benchmarks for. Flip. Uh, Counter-Strike 2 is going to be the last game. This is Valorant. Wow, maybe it's not important anymore. A lot of people haven't seen this before. <laughs> is Valorant not popular anymore? I'm pretty sure it is. Because it's a popular game? Yes. Yeah, there's games that you want to benchmark. Oh, yeah, I think that is 4K. I think you're right. There's games that you want to benchmark for a flip for to really showcase the graphic uh, capability of a PC. Like Cyberpunk, for example. Why did why are we not playing here? Um, but there's other games that you want to benchmark just because that's what people are going to ask you. People are going to ask, how much FPS does it get in Fortnite? How much does it get in Valorant? Counter-Strike 2. Except... Oh my god. I gotta turn off group chat. What is this dude doing? Is he singing? I know a lot of people play. I just haven't watched it. Someone dodged your game earlier. Oh my god. We might have to mute this dude. Or we're definitely muting this dude. Can you do a shout-out? depends is the shout out worthy how do you ship a pc with a gpu installed i mean we do a lot of protections uh insta the insta pack is one of them the expanding foam you put the foam in here and then it expands and you close the the side panel and then that way everything just gets nice and secured in there that on top of double boxing all of the all the bubble wrap around the pc using the original case box we do all the pretty much all of the best practices. Why is this taking so long? Is this is this what Valorant is this why Valorant's dead? I mean this is just obnoxious. How am I not in a game yet? Somebody has somebody has a bad PC. So we all have to wait. This is brutal. I just want to jump in and, and kill some people. This is ridiculous. It do be like that sometimes, Zach. Trust me. Happens one every ten games. Of course, it's the game we're trying to benchmark here. Leave the match? I mean, this is just obnoxious. It may be a bug. Okay, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> that was way too long. It sucks because Valorant can run on a potato. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense, but... I'm okay with leaving just because our, our graphic settings did get a little messed up there. I don't know why my monitor defaulted to 4K on there. That was so weird. Okay, let's go back to Valorant. Let's try this again. And we'll also disable group chat. <laughs>
That's like when I played Halo on my 3770K and made everybody wait for my games to load. <laughs> there's there's got to be somebody that does it. There's got to be somebody. I mean, that was obnoxiously long, though. Was it me? What if it was me this whole time? Oh, my God. This can't be legit. Oh my god, we're in the game. Okay, yeah, this is definitely 4K. We need to change this immediately. Okay, apply. Por favor. Okay, there we go. 1080p. Quality. Low. Audio. How do I turn this off? There, okay, there we go. That's off. Is my mic off? Mic volume, just drop that down. Incoming volume, drop that down. We don't need that. Party voice chat off. Okay, we're good. Team voice chat off. Okay. Alright. How do I how do I buy a gun? We're in. We got seven minutes to benchmark this. Okay, here we go. Starting the benchmark now. Okay, what what how do, how do I even switch my gun? Oh, there we go. Alright, what gun do I want to play with? Vandal? What? I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I low health already? I don't know these. Oh my god. I don't know how to play this at all. We are at a 290 FPS average though. There is so much recoil on this gun. What the? This is Vandal is the most accurate? Can I just buy this or? I definitely do not want to play with the stinger, which is what... Oh, okay. We got to go to different stages. Oh, this gun sucks, too. Yeah, that stinger recoil was way too much. Oh, my goodness. That was... Oh, that should have been a kill. That's bull. You lose health if you stay in the room. Okay, I got it. Oh, this is now we're back to the spec the whatever gun this is. Oh my god, I can't aim with this one at all. Oh, okay, so it is automatic. Okay. I think I was not doing the right one. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, this is I, I can't control this gun at all. Can I switch to a pistol? Is that possible? Oh, we're in stage three. What do I do now? Oh, the stinger is what we were using. Oh, this is brutal. All right, we're still at 208 average FPS, so that's good. All right, we're on the board. We're on the... Oh. How do they do that? Guardian's pretty good. Oh, we're on this one now. Vandal? That's the good gun, right? This is an actual good one? Nope. I got sucks. <laughs> oh, this one's automatic too. Are there no like semi-autos in this? Oh, we're on the board again. Let's go. MVP? That should have been my kill. Thank you. Thank you. This guy's dead. Oh, this guy's dead too. Two hundred and ten FPS. I think we can stop the benchmark here. That's not really going anywhere. Thank you. Should I be aiming or no? Should you be aiming with this? In Valorant? I forget. I mean, I'm borderline pro over here. Yes, you are supposed to be. Oh, oh, oh they know where I'm at. That's not good. 
Yes, I should be aiming. Headshot. Oh, shouldn't have reloaded. Do short bursts. Sit down. All right, wow. we're, getting, we're getting heated up. Yep, I'm feeling it now. Oh, by this gun, I can't shoot long range with this at all. If far, yes. If close, no. Okay. So just like real life, sit down. What the? F what in the world was that? I mean, we're on the board here. We're not doing too bad. Sit down. That should have been a kill. That that's that must have been lag. That wasn't me. When in doubt, aim. Okay. Are we done already? Really? Last place? Seven and oh. We've had we've had better games. I honestly was starting to heat up there. Drink some water. That's not a bad a bad idea. A. I understand. My bad. Yikes. I haven't seen Zach play Val yet. I honestly kind of want a rematch. But let, let's play. Let's play Counter Strike. <laughs> let's get these benchmarks done. It's 11 o'clock. All right. So that was 1080p Pro. We'll call it 1080p Pro. What is this music? This is not what I want. There we go. Uh, all right, so 1080p Pro, we got 210 FPS, looking pretty good. All right, we got one more benchmark to do, and then we're done. Counter-Strike. I've never played Counter-Strike 2 in my life. I'm a huge Valorant nerd. Is it gonna take an hour? No, we got this. This is gonna be quick. Counter Strike 2. Is it running? All right. Close that. There we go. Ooh. All right, one more game. One more game. Is CS2 free? I, th I think so. Right? Pretty sure it is. Yeah. Why is my MSI afterburner not working? Oh boy. Do we have to refire this up? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Wow, it's been so long. Yeah, why doesn't MSI Afterburner work in CSGO. Pantera with the resub. Come back for 33 months now. He says, hi. How's the foot? Thank you for stopping by, man. And for the resub. Much appreciated. Um, How do I... Get Afterburner to work in CSGO? I kind of remember an issue. It's been so long since I benchmarked this. Does anybody remember? Isn't there a trick to it or something? No, low, low, low. We'll call this pro settings. Low, low. Disabled, I guess. Performance. Disabled. How do I save? Does that all automatically save? Do I, does it, maybe it needs to be in full screen. Yeah, why doesn't my afterburner work? I never figure out how to have afterburner. You need overlay on and use a con. Oh, that's right. Yeah, see, I forgot. I kind of remember this issue. It's just, I'm, I'm so not updated with MSI afterburner. 
Or uh, with benchmarking, I mean. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a trick in like the Steam launch settings or something. Let's look it up real quick. How to run MSI Afterburner on... Yeah, these are all going to be CSGO. Does anybody remember? My mouse is still lagging. Just definitely have some, some type of interference going on here. Can you not do it at all? I for what are the exact steps that I need to do for this? Does anybody know? I remember there is a trick. I just don't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, the whole trusted mode thing. Yeah, that's right. Should I just not do this one? I forgot about this. Yeah, because you you can't run afterburner whenever you're like if you want to get in the trusted lobbies or something. I forget. I don't really want to watch a video. Yeah, I remember now. I don't remember what we do though. I don't know if Sam does it. CSGO still exists. Yeah, maybe we just don't, we won't do this one. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the play. Cause I don't wanna do this every time. Yeah, okay, Never mind. Well, I guess we won't do that one. Let's see if did, did Mirage ever finish? Is it necessary? No, we, like we'll be fine without doing this one. Did Mirage finish downloading? Probably not. Oh, no. I never hit resume. Yeah, 50%. That ain't gonna... All right. Well, we're just going to call it at that. All right. Well, that's good enough for me for the video. Again, for a gaming PC flip, we definitely do not need to run more than like three or four benchmarks for your sale posting. Um, I'm only trying to get more benchmarks for our YouTube video about this flip. But if you did miss it, these are what our benchmarks look like. Time Spy got a score of 7,388. Cyberpunk in 1080p medium did 63. We will definitely show that on the posting. Forza Horizon 5 in 1080p Ultra got 70 FPS. Call of Duty got uh, 113 FPS in 1080p medium. We're definitely going to show that one. Starfield 1080p low with a 50% scale only got 48. We're not going to show that. Fortnite with 1080p Pro got 181 and Valorant in 1080p Pro got 210. So our sale posting is gonna have this information in it. And it's gonna be laid out like this. Fortnite, 1080p Pro, 181 FPS. Valorant, 1080p Pro, 210 FPS. Cyberpunk, 2077. 1080p, medium, 63 FPS, and Call of Duty, COD, Modern Warfare 2, 1080p, medium, 113 FPS. So th that's probably all that we're going to do for the sale post. I didn't mean to do that. For the sale posting. That's probably all we're going to list for this. I think that's enough. What do you guys think? Does that look sellable? Does that look sellable right there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty good. Faux show. <clears throat> it does. Yeah, I think those are the big ones. We don't want to show Time Spy. It's a really good score, but nobody knows what that is. Uh, our Starfield isn't the best, but that's because this is the most demanding game out there. 
and we will show this one. We want to show Fortnite and Valorant because, well, I mean, all four of these are very popular right now. But Cyberpunk and Modern Warfare shows that it can it can play pretty well uh, with graphically demanding games. And then Fortnite and Valorant are just two of the most popular games. And that's what people that are buying pre-built want to play. But yeah, I think that's it, guys. I would consider this benchmark benchmarking run complete. Um, so what we're going to do now is... Honestly, I think I'm just going to list the PC. I don't think I'm going to go... Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm just going to get this PC listed and then keep you guys updated. I don't think I'm going to do a whole nother stream on actually just listing it. Because A, I'll definitely dox myself if I do that because we're posting this locally. But B, it's just not that interesting of content. Like, I'll screenshot the posting for the YouTube video whenever it goes live. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just gonna try to get this listed maybe tomorrow or maybe Monday, probably. Monday more realistically. And we'll see how fast we can sell this in the Pittsburgh area. We'll, I think what we agreed to was we're gonna list it at $600. I paid $402 for it, so we'll get a nice profit. But I will be willing to go down a, lower than that, of course. 600 is like the the moonshot like that would be the absolute ideal price for it do you have to be an age to get a giveaway yeah you have to be 18 i think but i don't know what the real rules are um but yeah so our if you guys tuned in late we are still running the rtx 3070 build giveaway we're going to be announcing the winner for this giveaway on October 12th, which is this upcoming Thursday, on that Thirsty Thursday stream, I'm also going to be building the next giveaway PC, and we'll start just earning points for that. Uh, Suk Matus, Matos, Suk Matos, Suk Matos, with the Twitch Prime set. Thank you, much appreciated. Um, we're going to be giving that that PC away on Thursday, building the next one. There might be like one more stream before Thursday, so you can rack up even more points. Again, all you got to do is tune into the streams and rack up those points and then buy your raffle tickets that, with those points. Am I too old for the giveaway? No, you, you can stay. You're allowed. Um, yeah, I don't know what giveaway rules are in terms of age. I am not going to be age checking anybody. Just Let's just be honest here. I'm... <laughs> I don't know if that's legal or not, but I am not going to be age checking people. Um, but yeah, it is a worldwide giveaway. And you guys already know the details. If you don't, you can type in exclamation point giveaway. That'll take you to the website where it has all the information about this gaming PC. But yeah, that's going to wrap up tonight's live stream. Thank you guys very much for benchmarking this PC with me. I really appreciate it. I think it was um, finally successful. And um, it all it all looks good. So... I will catch you guys in the next live stream whenever that is. Go Steelers tomorrow. And, yeah, hopefully you guys all have a, a good night. See you guys later. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Mark, thank you. I Hopefully you guys are still here. We're going to raid Brett. <laughs> Brett's doing the Cannonball live stream. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to the people on YouTube, but we are definitely going to go raid Brett and his Cannonball live stream. I almost completely forgot. Thank you, Mark. Much appreciated. How do we do this? Um, it's like slash. I don't know what's going to happen to the YouTube people, but we are about to find out. If my keyboard works. Yeah, thank you guys for sticking around here. <laughs> I think you'll get more giveaway points while the raid is happening. Why is this not working? 
keyboard, Bluetooth. There we go. Okay. Already there? Yeah, there we go. All right, raid. UFD. What's his What's his Twitch channel? How's it spelled out? I gotta find it. UF Disciple. All right. When we go raid there, let him know that we came from the ZTT stream. Por favor. UF Disciple. There we go. All right. Raid UF Disciple. All right. There we go. I don't know what's going to happen to the people on YouTube. Sorry. But we're about to find out. <laughs> Is it working? I don't know. Did it work? Did people get raided over there? But then also the product of what they do overall when combined with the bun and the hot dog. I don't know how to use uh, Twitch stuff. Uh, what? Well, no, because the band aid is, is still that round. Oh, right now. There we go. Raid right now. It, My bad. It also just sticks to you. All right, now we're over there. Yeah, anything that covers oh. an open wound. All right, there we go. Go it's watch Brett. But the little sticky one. <clears throat> There we go. What's up? What's up? Welcome Zach, in, everyone. How's your neck? How you doing? Oh yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw something about that. How you feeling? Doing all right. All right. Are, are we still live on YouTube? This is very interesting that I can raid you guys. I can raid people. I know that your Zach's also doing a giveaway. Today he's gonna draw on Thursday. This is very bizarre. Of all of the different 